Hello everyone. Today we shall look into top end function and uh, how to make it dynamic. Top end function returns a table with top n rows of table or an empty table if the parameter is zero or less. This n value is the first parameter where we want where we enter the number like we want top two or top three or top five. Uh, and the second parameter is table and we have order by expression and uh, the order which we want to order by. The rows are not sorted in any particular order. If there is a tie in order by values at the nth row of the table, then all tied rows are returned. Then when there are ties at the nth row, the function might return more than n rows. If n value is 0 or less, top n returns empty table. Top n does not guarantee any sort order for the results. This function is not supported for use in direct query mode when used in calculated columns or row level security rules. Let us move on to the data view. Here in this, I have the sales table where I have the country distributor, brand operator and respective uh, sales data. Here in the brands, we have uh, several brands where I would like to see the sales of uh, top two sales which has been made. Okay, now I'll uh, click on the new table. Here, here I'll write top two table equal to I'll write top n function okay in the n value suppose that since we want top two values in the n value I'll write to I'll put a comma the table name is sales okay I'll put a comma in the order by expression I want to order it by sales column which is my numerical uh, column in the order I want to make it by descending that I wanted to see my top like top sales which is maximum and I'll close the parenthesis hit enter we could see that these are the two sales which are having the maximum sales okay and uh, let us see how it uh, it is functional in filter context here I have brand and total sales you could see the measure of uh, total sales okay this is my measure where I have written total sales Okay, I'll create a new measure where I'll write top two sales equal to since I want to aggregate I would use this calculate function in the expression I'll write total sales measure which is my sum of sales in the filter I would like to use my top in function and in the n value as we have seen earlier I would enter two my table name is sales and uh, my order by expression would be sales of sales column like and uh, the order would be descending okay these are my top end parameters which are required and i have uh, used it in filter argument of calculate function i will commit i'll uh, rename the measure as top two sales new and enter here I have this table I'll bring in the measure which I have written okay here we have top two sales you know, and uh, this is the measure which we have written where my top two sales are uh, provided for each brand let us go to the data view and validate it here in the sales table I'll sort the sales to the descending order okay I'll sort the sales to the descending order here in the top uh, two lines you could see that apple brand has 33 lakh 36 thousand and 3 lakh which together uh, you know it is 6 6 lakh 36 thousand let us see for another brand here which we have like motorola here we have 2 lakh 68 thousand and 2 lakh 59 thousand if i have uh, if i could see here here motorola it has 5 lakh 28 it represents that for each brand it will take the top two sales which has happened and it will aggregate the respective sales now this uh, measure which we have written here we have entered the number two manually so it is hard coded and uh, to make it dynamic we shall make a parameter where it could help us in order to make it dynamic i'll go to the modeling tab i'll click on new parameter i'll click on this number numeric range here I have this uh, you know variable adjust where I could change between numeric range and fields 
I'll keep it numeric range. In the parameter, I could uh, you know name I could name it anything like I want top sales and uh, data type would be whole number. Minimum value I want one and suppose that I maximum I want five. The increment is one and let us keep the default as one. We must we need a slicer so I am checking this slicer and I'll create. Here we have a slicer where we where the data could range from uh, you know one to five. We could enter three, four, five. Okay, this is the slicer which is uh, which has been created. And as we have created the parameter, you could notice that there is a table called top sales which is generated. With the generate series function, it has created the uh, column from 1 to 5 and a measure is created by using the selected value function. Okay, we will be using the selected value function, okay, which is top sales value in our measure. I will go to the measure which is created by us. Okay, here instead of uh, you know hard coding the number to, I'll use this top. I will use this top sales value measure which is being written. I'll click here. Okay, this is the parameter measure which has been created in the additionally in the uh, data field. Okay, I'll click over here. Now let us check whether it is working or not. I'll write and I'll write one hit enter here you could see that for apple brand 336000 is the top sale for like if it is two sales like two product total sales it is like 636000 for apple brand you could notice the changes in values this is how we use the parameter and uh, we make the measure dynamic this is all for now thank you for watching and we shall meet in the next video